Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to remove background noise in Adobe Audition. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is open up Adobe Audition and then record some audio in here directly or bring in an audio track that you would like to remove the background noise of. Now, before we start actually affecting the background noise, I will say to keep your expectations reasonable, depending on how loud your background noise is, depending on the type of background noise, will determine how good of an effect this is. So what we're going to be doing is previewing the audio sample right here, and then I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks on how to remove it. This is an example audio track with background noise. So if you have headphones on, you can probably hear the kind of humming and fan hiss in the background. I basically turned my laptop onto maximum fans and I went ham with this and tried to get as much background noise as possible so we could show you how to affect it. So what's recommended to do is have a buffer sound or what we call is some sound where we just hear background noise, where nobody's talking or there's no noise. In this case, what I have is like a couple of seconds here at the start of my track where I'm not actually talking. So I only have background noise and kind of effects in the background that we want to try to remove. So what you need to do is click and highlight and drag and select some of the selection with no actual speaking, where you can just get a sample of the background noise. Once we have this done, what we can do is click effects on the top left. We're going to be coming down to noise reduction and restoration, and we're going to be capturing a noise print. So click this. And what this is going to do is it's going to analyze the sound here, and we're going to be using this noise print to remove background noise from the rest of our track. Once you have your noise print selected, we're going to be clicking control A to select our entire track. We're going to be coming back up to effects, noise reduction and restoration and we're going to be clicking on noise reduction process or control shift P and shift P here are the shortcuts for this. Click this open and you'll see this graph on screen but there's two things we're mainly looking for here. So the first is noise reduction and this is how much percentage of the sound we want to try to remove and then the second is how harsh we're going to try to remove this sound or how many decibels we're going to try to take away from the sound. So by default I believe the top is on 50 and the bottom is on 16. So what we're going to be doing is experimenting with this to see what gives the best results without affecting our audio quality at a high level. To preview how it sounds with our effect, what we need to do is make sure this green box is selected. And we can click the play pause preview button right here. This is an example audio track with background noise. So this has already removed a decent amount of the background noise, at least from the quiet spots, and it's made the original audio a little bit tighter. So we, what your goal is now is either to increase or decrease the noise reduction and to reduce by until you're happy with how the effect comes out. So it is a little bit of experimentation. In this case, I'm kind of happy with somewhere around the 40 to 30% mark for me, and I usually leave the reduce by on 16. However, again, this can depend on your audio track and the quality of your microphone. Once you're happy with your effect and everything you've set up, simply click apply, and then your background noise will be removed and you can see the waveforms are much smaller here during the quiet parts. They're not completely removed, however, they are diminished significantly. So if I come back and forth here between my effect on the left, you can see how much of the audio we have actually removed. So the audio does sound a bit cleaner and it's as easy as that to remove background noise using Adobe Audition. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you find these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.